peace of love, black man, peace of love, black woman, peace, abundance, prosperity upon your journey. You know, uh, the difference between religion and spirituality is that they are not the same. But just like Brother Umar Johnson himself stated that you can utilize a bridge in religion once you practice it to have access to tap in with your spirituality. But spirituality is nothing more but then the higher being that's within. Spirituality is nothing more but then the inner being that you listen to when you win trials and tribulations. When you hear that gut feeling or when you feel that gut feeling, I would say, that just your spirit is telling you, your spirit is a mouth. Your spirit is collects nothing more but then energy from a specific person. What is energy? Nothing more but then frequencies. You know, so we um, we must have, have a proper distinction between religion and spirituality. Religion, on the other hand, is that you're going based off a book. You're going based off a book that has a lot of information attached to it, but there is no proof. There's no proof of the information in what you're reading. It could be the Holy Quran for people who's in the nation of Islam or who are individuals who are Muslims, or it could be Christians. You know, people who practice Christianity and follow or subscribe to the Old Testament or New Testament or the Holy Bible something that I realized, brothers and sisters, is nothing more but then to me, in my humble perception or my humble standpoint, religion, just like Brother Umar Johnson himself, he stated, he said religion could be good or bad based on how you utilize it. And once I look at the black community, I would say, the black community utilize religion as a form of escapism. The black community utilize religion as a form of escapism. And there is no true escapism in this planet Earth. We have to deal with our problems just like everyone else. We have to deal with our problems just like everyone else. We need to tap back into our natural spirituality. Okay? We must do this in order for us to liberate our minds. But first, you have to liberate our minds. The Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey himself, he stated, he said that liberate the mind of a man, then you can liberate the body of the man. Liberate the mind of the black alpha male, then you can liberate the body of the black alpha male. Liberate the mind of the beautiful queen, then you can liberate the body of the beautiful queen. Liberate the mind of the girl, they can liberate the body of the girl. We need to liberate our minds. In order for us to have a physical revolution, we need to have a psychological revolution. But when you talk about a psychological revolution, I would say, excuse me, you must talk about the 360 switch that happens within your subconscious brain. You must talk about the paradigm shift. Once your paradigm really shift, I would say, it will change your perception. It will change how you behave. It will change your mentality, your characteristic of thoughts. You get what I'm saying? So to all that, no brothers and sisters, man, everyone have love, life, peace, and abundance, prosperity upon their journey, their day, etc. On their dreams also. But on that note, may everyone stay beautiful. <laughs> I heart you. I love you. You are kind. You are gentle. If no one ever told you this, you are phenomenal, you are perfect as the way you are, and don't let no one tell you different from that. Thank you.